the longest building and the shortest street in the world, the largest park in Europe and the deepest subway station in the world, a city of museums with unique structures and patriotic citizens, the oldest European market and the second highest Asia in the world, a city of Sakura with the longest alley of lime trees in Europe, a city of castles and museums, the geographical center of Europe, interesting facts, amazing names and a distinctive coloring. And all this is not somewhere abroad, but in Ukrainian cities and provincial towns. So let's find out more about these interesting facts. Early in the morning, the bells of churches chime. In order to not lose time, we're going further to learn about the legends and temples in the city. Today we plan to visit the fabulous Antoniev Caves, where we hope to see the secret ghost of a monk. But that will be later. Now we're in the Yeletsky St. Uspensky nunnery. According to legend, in 1060 a miracle happened in near the city of Chernihiv. An icon of the Mother of God was seen on a spruce tree. It was exactly for this reason that in this place Prince Sviatoslav Yaroslavovich built a temple, which as a result he gave it the name Spruce Cloister. When arriving here, pilgrims often share their emotions, namely to grace the holy side of more than 1,000 years. People pray, receive piety and show their love to God and their close ones. This is one of the oldest and most sacred Christian sanctuaries in Ukraine. In the monastery, there is the unique Yelitsky icon of the Mother of God, and they say that they receive what they pray for. Reverend Lavrenti said that here there are so many saints that were walking on them, and many saints lived in this monastery over the thousand of years of its existence from the 11th and 12th centuries to the 17th century. For this reason, people who come here and enter the monastery feel the glow of this graceful place. Thousands of faithful people visit this monastery in order to visit this ancient and holy place. In its time, the prominent head of the Ukrainian National Republic, Mikhail Hrushevsky, called Chernihiv the so-called Ukrainian Ravenna, due to its numerous architectural and historical monuments. Indeed, the city is shrouded in mysteries of the past. Chernihiv is great, Chernihiv is cool, we're all waiting for you. I have no words to express my delight. I even don't know where to start. I glorify ancient Chernihiv and let it live for many years. We have heard quite a lot about the Antoniev caves, so we're impatiently waiting to crawl down into them. These caves are shrouded with legends and secrets. Many speak about the ghosts that wander through them and about their ability to heal. And so we have the possibility to join this underground architectural site of the 11th to 12th centuries. So now we go down into the ancient cave and we'll learn more about its origin. We're with you in the Antoniev Caves. They are the oldest and most famous in Ukraine and beyond its borders and is also a memorial of Ukrainian cave construction. It is one of components of the Troitsky Ilyinsky Monastery, which is one of the most ancient monasteries in Ukraine and in all of southeastern Rus. It was founded by Antoni Pechersky, who founded the Kiev Pechersk Monastery, which is why it is directly associated with his name. Over its history, the Troitsky Lienski, or as it was earlier named, the Bohorodetsky Monastery, experienced many events. Here, the caves are quite spacious. People can easily move through them without lowering their heads. Though, honestly speaking, it can be quite scary. Contrary to popular belief, there the ancient caves were not some intricate labyrinths, as said in the legends. That were beyond the city limits and extended from the city of Chernihiv all the way to Kiev. They say that the caves had many floors, but this was not planned by builders. It simply turned out that way. 
These caves were located at the level of the entrance, but when it was reconstructed, a decision was made to build a large temple. As such, it was decided that the caves should have several levels. Of course, with just as many visitors are interested in the legend of the ghost of the monk, who was seen in these caves. These legends, to some degree, are well-grounded and add certain color to our history. They are very interesting and intriguing. Well, we did not see any ghosts, but we managed to find a unique spire in the digs conducted by Chernihiv scientists. We managed to dig up this spire, study it and reinforce it, and today it is open to the broad public for viewing. This spire is the only one that was preserved from the times of ancient Rus. The spire was created in the 11th century according to the traditions of the Athos Monastery. Nothing similar was found to this day in Ukrainian caves. So, as it turns out, the Antoniev Caves are a secret place in which spiritual quests and certain ancient legends often intersect. This place will be interesting for both adults and children. And now we're going to a place where children are smiling and loud laughter. Wow, you can definitely have fun here! If you want to have a good time and you have young and older children, then you should visit us. Our park offers many types of entertainment for children of different ages and also for the poor class. You can enjoy a fun family outing. Let's go and I'll show you what we offer. It will be very interesting. Of course, you will see so many happy children's faces in one place. This is a true celebration. I like it here because there are lots of joy and there are tons of balloons and trampolines, which I really like. I like spending time here with my parents and friends. Different holidays are held, like birthdays. I enjoy spending time here. We really enjoy having fun with the family here. We're here the second time and we like it. We will come here with our son. Raise your hands. Do you like it? While children are having fun, adults can visit the creative workshop Kudelia, run by Chernihiv artist Olha Kucherenko. In one of the shopping malls and in a small comfortable premises, she creates her inimitable work. She's a master of embroidery. I'm exclusively interested in the Chernihiv Oblast and embroidery here. I simply feel it. That's why I know how it is soon. I simply take it in my hands and feel it. Indeed, every work is inimitable. First and foremost, Olha is famous as a master of embroidery who creates national costumes, shirts, costumes and skirts. But she only uses the patterns and styles of the Chernihiv Oblast. Chernihiv embroidery is somehow magical and amazing because you cannot immediately see its beauty. You have to look at it carefully. It is such a precise, refined beauty. It does not scream out, look how beautiful I am. It is a genuine women's embroidery. I will show you a shirt about which they say that it was sewn with frost. This is indeed what it looks like. 
Besides having a talent for embroidery, she is a master of many creative techniques. We will now learn exactly which techniques. One thing I say is that in my works, even stylized and modernized works, I try to preserve that special Chernihiv coloring. Either it is some particular cutting of women's clothing or has some elements of embroidery that remind one that it was made in the Chernihiv oblast. If it is a heel piece, then I try to stylize it to the national ornament that I rethought. But seeing as I have mastered many techniques, I start to create not only embroidered but also cut out skirts. Olha explained to us the cut out technique. It is an ancient craft that she is reviving. Olha is creating a decorated ornament and cloth, which is then used to decorate differently stylized attire. This is not only skirts, but skirts with a breastplate. Once upon a time, women in the Chernihiv oblast wore them. They look so modern that they can be worn with any clothing. And I really like them. Besides embroidery and padding, the master likes making folk dolls and painting eggs. And her works are always distinct from others because they are made with love in her beloved city. Chernihiv inspires me. I was born here and ran along its streets. Here I became inspired and assumed some of its images. Our city is very interesting. So it turns out that all these feelings are visible in my creative work. We will now say goodbye to this talented master of crafts and go to find something tasty to eat. We especially want to taste cuisine made in Chernihiv. As always, we asked locals and they recommended us to try ribs a la Chernihiv. So let's find out how they are prepared and, of course, taste them. Welcome! I invite you to taste our local gastronomic delight and try our specialty of the house. Let's go! We were invited to a cozy restaurant and we will definitely learn about the recipe of the specialty of the house from the chef. First, pork ribs are cleansed and marinated in a special sauce. Further, they are baked in an oven for 4 hours and then simmer for 10 minutes before being served. Only then they decorate the ribs and serve them. While our chef is preparing his specialty of the house for us, we will find out how they amaze locals and visitors of Chernihiv. Besides a variety of dishes, they offer guests to try the local home-brewed beer. While we were trying different sorts of beer, the homemade ribs were ready for tasting. And here is our chef. I gladly offer you to try our specialty of the house, Chernihiv barbecue ribs. Please try our specialty of the house. Enjoy your meal. We see that the guests of the local establishment enjoy the local dish and we're grateful for the tasty lunch and are leaving the city. The road to Kiev passes by the ancient Vala, so we once again will take in the beautiful views of the archaic city. Here, just like yesterday, is full of people. Couples are taking a stroll, children are playing, and brides are being photographed. I love Chernihiv because it is a very comfortable city to live in. It is very green, with many parks and squares. There is also the Desna River, where we like to go swimming in during the summer. I love Chernihiv because here life is good and interesting. Come visit us. 
Chernihiv is a very unique city. It is genuine, it is intellectual, it is cultural, it is a tourist heaven, and it is really cool. And in order to fill the spirit of Kiev and Rus, no other Ukrainian city can convey the spirit like Chernihiv. We invite you to our city. We will tell you its history, show you its sights, and you will be proud of that you become familiar with Chernihiv. Travel throughout Ukraine, discover new cities, and tell the whole world about them. May every track be amazing and unforgettable.